Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain to you how you can access storage metrics reports in SharePoint Online. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. Well, sometimes you just kind of want to know uh, how much content you have on your SharePoint site and you know which sites have uh, more content in, in terms of storage and which sites have less. Uh, now, there are a few ways for you to check that. Uh, there are two options available to you. Uh, option number one, you can check uh, the storage metrics reports at the site level and kind of see the sites uh, that have more content than the others. Uh, option number two, you can actually check the storage metrics uh, all the way down at the library folder or even file level. Uh, this is uh, very useful when you want to find out um, what is exactly causing your uh, storage to get out of hand on a given site. So let me uh, show you both options. We'll start with option number one. Uh, so again, uh, option number one is where we can check the storage metrics at the site level. For that, of course, we will need to navigate to uh, the admin center. So I'm going to navigate to the admin center, uh, Office 365 admin center first, and then we need to navigate to SharePoint admin center. And here it is under sites, we will see all the active sites that I have in my environment. And you will see one of the columns will say storage used. And essentially this will give you a, a number uh, in gigabytes of storage used on, uh, used on this particular site. Now you can uh, sort it, uh, you can sort any of these columns, which is great. So uh, you can sort it, for example, I want to see uh, all the um, you know uh, the, the largest uh, storage on top. So uh, look at this. Here is one one of my sites. I don't have a lot of you know files in my environment, but uh, this one happens to be the biggest. I have two gigabytes uh, on this particular site, and then you can see uh, now in descending order uh, the storage use on all the other sites. All right. So this will this will tell you um, which sites are kind of the biggest offenders, if you will. Now, sometimes you kind of have to, to investigate and figure out what it is that's causing uh, the uh, storage to get out of hand, right? You want to see whether it's a particular uh, document library, a particular file, et cetera. How do you find that easily? Uh, well, let me show you how. So um, I'm actually going to go to one of my uh, sites that I have. Now, this happens to be a classic site. Uh, but the reason why I wanted to show this in this particular site uh, is that th because this site has subsites underneath. Now, on all the modern sites, uh, like this one, for example, the one that has lots of uh, um, uh, you know storage taken, right? Um, this is a modern site. This is a modern site, and we can still do what I'm going to show you, um, you know, as well in terms of investigating what uh, is causing the uh, um, you know, all the storage to be taken. We can still do this on this site as well. But the reason why I want to show it on, to you on this site is because this one, this is a classic site and it have subsites underneath. Uh, this one doesn't. This one doesn't. Uh, and uh, because this one does have subsites, uh, what this trick will show you is that you can pretty much uh, investigate which of the subsites, which of the libraries on those subsites, which of the documents on this yeah, you know, subsites it's causing, uh, again, the storage to get out of hand. Uh, so uh, to do that, we just need to navigate to uh, gear icon, site settings. And very important, you need to be at the root of the site collection, which is where we are, essentially the top level site. Um, and then we navigate to the screen and under site collection administration, you will notice something called storage metrics. Let's click. And if this was the only site, all right, if this was the only site, just like this one, if this was the only site, then you would pretty much see it all right here. But because I have subsites, uh, look at this. It actually shows me all the subsites and the storage taken for each of the subsites. So very, very convenient. And it automatically already um, sorts it uh, in, uh, um, in the order, right, for, for, with the largest being on top. Um, and, and small has been at the bottom. So look at this. I have, uh, I guess, uh, lots of content, relatively speaking, on this site. So let me investigate further. I'm going to now investigate further. So I'm going to click on my policies subsite. All right, and uh, uh, let's check it out what's going on there. Here we go. Um, so I'm on 
uh, it shows me the storage taken uh, on this uh, particular subsite. It actually breaks it down and even further by document library. So here we go. Here is my biggest offender. Perfect. Let me click that. And essentially now I am at the file level, right? I click through the uh, libraries and if I had folders, it would be folders, but I don't have any folders. And look at this. I now have all the files again, uh, all sorted out and I can see which ones are the biggest. All right. So that's these are pretty much the two techniques. Now let me show you the same on this other, um, you know, site on the modern site. Uh, it works the same way. Again, the only reason why I showed this trick uh, on the classic site because I wanted to show you how you can drill down into sub sites and then the libraries and then the folders and then the, um, you know, do, uh, the files underneath. Uh, we can do the same on the modern site, right? Whether you have a communication site or the uh, you know, private uh, office, uh, uh, private or public office or 65 group, a team site, in other words, uh, we can do the same here. Uh, so to access this, we go to gear icon, site information, site settings. So it's a bit uh, more clicks to get to site settings. All right. And then again, on the site collection administration, we see this uh, storage metrics right here. Perfect. Now, um, uh, actually, it's funny. I do have a subset ironically here, but uh, look at this, right? I mean, the expectation is that uh, you wouldn't because it's obviously a modern team site. So uh, right away, it shows me uh, kind of the uh, biggest offenders again, all sorted out, uh, uh, all sorted uh, in, in the order from largest to smallest, all right? So this way you can then, again, um, click on a particular folder and a particular subfolder, right? and you know, find out what it is that's uh, sitting in this particular folder or subfolder and causing, um, um, you know, causing all this uh, storage to increase. One last thing I wanted to mention before we end this video, my SharePoint Maven Academy. Uh, it's a place where you can enroll in a variety of SharePoint and Office 365 courses. Uh, all the courses are available on demand. So once enrolled, you can pretty much take them at your own pace. Uh, you navigate to the academy by going to academy.sharepointmaven.com and I will also leave the link uh, in the uh, video notes as well. Uh, but once you make it to the site, um, you can uh, access all the courses. Uh, I have two different categories for you to choose from. I have some end user courses. I have some uh, site owner courses and I constantly record and add additional courses for you to enroll in. Uh, and again, once enrolled, you can access those courses at your own pace from the convenience uh, of your computer. So that's pretty much all. That's uh, pretty much everything I wanted to show you today. Hopefully you learned something new. Uh, as always, uh, we'll be uh, happy to see you on my uh, YouTube channel as well as my blog, sharepointmaven.com. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.